up guys auto fanatic i'm going to do a cool new tool review for you guys uh an auto fanatic customer and a fan just picked this milwaukee m18 fuel cordless rotary polisher up and i uh, sent me an email after i did my max shine video he says hey would you mind if i sent this to you to do a video and a review on it before i start using it and i said yeah absolutely uh this is really really cool i'm a big fan of milwaukee uh the fuel line of tools with the m18 5.0 batteries uh their powerhouses whether you have impact gun uh, cordless drills, vacuums, they make a whole slew of tools in this range and the batteries and charger of course are all interchangeable so this is a really cool option uh, the only other company on the market that I'm aware of now that makes a cordless rotary polisher is Flex. The Flex tool when you buy this complete kit as we show here it's almost $200 more than this kit so this kit for, is uh, $399 he picked it up on Amazon and it's gonna give you two of the XC 5.0 batteries. These batteries themselves are $120 each if you buy these locally at your Home Depot or Lowe's. You're gonna get two batteries, you're gonna get the charger, you're gonna get three pads, uh, you're gonna get the handle for this side, you're also gonna get the nice vibration handle here. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod, I'm gonna show you some of the features and I'm gonna give you guys a quick demo of this new Milwaukee Fuel M18 cordless rotary polisher. All right guys, got the camera in my hand, just wanna show you some of the features. The side handle that's coming in this kit is a really clever design instead of having just a solid piece of plastic like the conventional ones that come on your rotary tools or grinders this actually has a vibration dampening cushion in between the two halves which is really good uh, it just makes it a little bit more comfortable it's rubber encased as well and it just feels really really nice to your hand you have rubber encapsulated at the front nose built-in tool rest you can see you here variable speed now this tool starts out at 800 and it goes up to about 2200 it actually only designates 2000 but it's listed as 2200 when you go on their website I actually looked it up on the batteries you have your power gauge here which is really cool this will tell you how much juice you got left into the battery I'm gonna flip this tool around so this is all rubber encased with a nice cross hatch pattern for grip ergonomically this is very very stout and very well built it's got a soft touch variable speed trigger you can feather it. The only thing that I don't like is the trigger lock. I just don't like it. I think this could definitely be improved. It's one of the things about the tool that I don't like. Also has a standard 5 8 threaded shaft, so you could use any kind of conventional backing plate. It gives you a really nice 7 inch backing plate that's very flexible and very well made, so you could actually use smaller ones if you like. Uh, also gives you this type of D handle. I never really use these on a polisher, but also this handle is rubber encased with the same cross hatch texture that the body of the tool has as well. So if it comes in a kit. If you guys want to use it, if some people prefer that, go for it. You can see here, it's got the grip all the way around the nose cone. So you could actually go in there and grab it with your hands if you don't want to use a handle. And I'm going to show you that as well. Also, another cool feature is my DeWalt professional rotary tools, the corded ones, have these removable screens and some of the now automotive polishers are coming with removable screens including Max Shine and uh, the Rupes and stuff like that. So this is pretty clever. Just pop this out, use your compressed air, you can blow this out if you're in a body shop or a real dirty industrial environment. That makes a lot of sense. Here's a battery pack. If you look at the ergonomic of this tool, how the body starts to curve downward, you know, that does definitely cause a concern that you have this big heavy battery on the back end and you're probably going to knock into the body of the car, but they were actually smart enough when they designed this system that there's rubber encasement on the bottom of the battery. So if you do hit the paint of the car, you're not going to mar it with plastic or a sharp edge on the paint of the car. So this is a very clever design by Milwaukee, and both batteries come that way as well. Uh, this is the backing plate. It gives you a wool cutting pad, a yellow polishing pad, and a black finishing pad. Uh, but like I said, the the abundance of pads in the market in this size with this backing plate are sky's the limit. I mean, Meguiar's 3M, Lake Country, everybody makes pads for this. Here's your rapid charger right there. So this actually charges the M12s and the M18 batteries. So if you guys have uh, some Milwaukee power tools, you could actually buy the tool itself without all the accessories for a lot less money. So if you think about it, for $399, this is an outstanding value because these batteries are $120 each. So now you're at $240 just for the batteries, then you throw in the charger, now you're over $300, and then you're pretty much getting the tool thrown in with all the extra stuff for not much more. So I think it's a really, really good value. Very well made. Even though this is not made in America, uh, it's still a very stout, professional-grade tool. It's very, very overbuilt. 
Uh, like I said, the Flex PE15 cordless rotary is quieter and smoother, but it also has a lower RPM. Uh, I consider this more of an, a heavier duty, more industrial rated tool. Uh, it's, it's definitely really cool. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are going to be questioning, like, you know, why do I need a cordless polisher? And uh, where am I going to use this? I think this is something that's going to be really viable for a lot of you guys, especially if you live in townhouse apartments um, or any kind of municipal apartment, or you park your car in a municipal garage where you may not have electricity to use a corded power tool and you got to do everything, you know, in a kind of like a mobile fashion. Another thing is, let's say you're a mobile detailer and you made an appointment to do, you know, a couple of clients' cars and they left them outside the home and they're on vacation. You go to plug in your extension cord and the electrical outlet is dead because there's a blown circuit breaker in the house and you can't go in there to trip it. So what are you going to do? You're going to say no to the job and walk away or you go in your van or truck, pick out the cordless tool, you got your batteries loaded up, uh, if you got a couple of spares and you can knock out the jobs in no time. So another thing too is, you know, this is a rotary tool. It doesn't go up to the RPM that some of my other uh, corded power tools do. So I think to start out, I always recommend everyone to start out polishing with a rotary tool. That's really the foundation of surface correction, no matter whether you're doing solid surface or you're doing base coat, clear coats, or single stage paints. You really need to master the rotary before you, you know, go invest money into other, the other fancier, more elaborate tools in the market, like the dual action tools and the force rotation uh, dual action tools. So this is really where it all starts. I think it's a great value. I think it makes a lot of sense too. Uh, another thing too, let's say, I mean, it's happened to me before. You, you, you trailer your car, you go to a car show that's far away. Uh, you pull the car out on the lawn, you, you give it a, a quick wipe over, and then you might see some swirls or some haze in the paint. You know, usually I would take my cordless drill with my 3-inch or 4-inch pads, and I would, you know, knock it out on the show field, on the lawn, and get it done. But now, with something like this, I'm actually considering picking one of these up just to go on the road, because it just opens up a whole new opportunity that where you don't have the access to electricity, you could actually do a light polish, finish, glaze, sealant, or whatever, and there's enough juice in these batteries, they say, to do one full car off one battery. So if you get two batteries and they're fully charged, and if you have other M18 power tools, uh, you can just throw those in your bag, and you're, you're pretty much going to be set for the, uh, for the entire day. So let me just grab the box. I'm going to show you some of the features that they're discussing about this tool right now. Okay, so that's the part number there of the kit, 273822PP, and they're listing this here as capacity 7-inch maximum on the backing plate and the pad. 0 RPM to 2200 RPM, variable speed trigger. It has a constant power technology, side handle and bail handle. Rubberized gear case cover, removable debris screens. It has a length of 19.8 inches and a weight of 6.4 pounds. Now, on the back of this box, they're saying that it's a pound lighter than a corded competitor. I have um, my Flex PE14 over there. I'm going to throw it on a scale. I'm going to show you guys. That's about one pound lighter when you have this tool loaded up with the backing plate and the battery. This has a power state brushless motor, very, very well built motor. And of course, they're designating the XC 5.0. They're giving you the larger capacity battery packs with this kit. One charge can equal one full size car on moderate to good paint to light scratches. So I wouldn't pick this tool up if you're going to do some, you know, wet sanding and you're going to try to polish out a freshly painted car. But like I said, I think there's a purpose for cordless power tools regardless. I know a lot of guys are buying all these expensive fancy drying uh, machines to go blow dry the car but they have a cord and I can't stand cords and ever, I, ever since I switched to the cordless ego blower it has made my life so much easier that I have a couple of batteries and I can dry my car off without having the cord get snagged on the wheels or anywhere else on the car so let me get this thing set up for you and I'm going to show you guys a quick demo and uh, before we do that I'm going to weigh the tool on a scale and give you the exact weight because it, it does vary a little bit different from the box this guy on there So we're getting 6 pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces, so it's about 6.9 pounds as shown. And it doesn't have the backing plate, so let's just add the backing plate on the scale. Or actually, no, we'll just throw it on the arbor, see what that does. So then it goes up to 6 pounds, 14.2 ounces with the backing plate and the battery. Now, you could actually use the smaller batteries on this machine if you want to reduce the weight. But to be honest with you, you do want some level of weight on a professional rotary polishing tool it actually helps in the control of the machine and it helps in the cutting action of the machine so let me go grab my flex pe14 and i'll show you guys what that weighs right, guys we're back so i got the flex pe14 on there with just a six inch backing plate and we're coming in at five pounds 14 ounces so this is actually my lightest corded rotary polishing tool my dewalt 
my Makita and my old school Black & Decker that I've had for 30 years are significantly heavier than this. My Black & Decker is pushing about 22 pounds, I believe. It's about 20 to 22 pounds. Uh, the DeWalt is about 7.5, the Makita is about 7.8. So the Flex is the lightest one in the market. So theoretically, yes, this is lighter than most of the quarter polishers on the market according to what I just showed you on the scale. So let's get it set up and I'm gonna show you guys a quick demo. Guys, I'm actually gonna set this up with my 3M Perfected series pad and this is the quick release. These things are really cool. This is professional grade. The reason why these are cool is because it perfectly locks in your pad and the 3M Perfected pads are double-sided. These are expensive, so there's no need for a backing plate. And then it just locks right in and you're good to go. So this is the way to go. So this is what we're gonna do on the demo and I'm gonna show you some control and some movements. So I actually took the handle off. I want to see how controllable it is. So there you have it guys, I think the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Rotary Cordless Polisher is absolutely awesome. Super well built, no vibration, and when you use the 3M uh, Perfected Series system, the pad is on there perfectly so you don't ever have the misalignment of the pad. It's, it's actually, believe it or not, smoother and quieter than a lot of my corded tools. It doesn't have the grunt, you know, only because of 2200, but and it, it just does a nice job. It feels really good. I think this is definitely has a place in the auto detailing and the refinishing market, and that's probably why Milwaukee came out with this tool. So, um, once again, this was really cool that I had the opportunity to test this out. Now I'm gonna box it up and send it back, but to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna pick one of these up, and if anybody out there that's got the Flex PE15 and wants me to do a video, feel free to reach out to me and uh, send it up to me, and I'll do a video, and I'll send it right back to you, because I'd definitely like to try that out now that I've actually spent some time with this one right here. But this is professional, very stout, extremely well made, and super well balanced. Even with the weight of the back of the battery, and then you got a lot of weight in the front, it's like perfectly balanced. I don't ever feel that this thing is going out of control uh, with the handle or without the handle. And it's real easy to grab under here and use it. You just saw it right there. I just did a quick couple of passes on my hood uh, with some Sonex Perfect Finish. Just very light to moderate pressure. I just really wanted to test the control of the machine and the balance of the machine. RPM, vibrations, noise, all that good stuff. So see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, hit up autofanatic.com and stay tuned to the channel for more automotive content. And I'll see you guys on the next one.